Hi guys, this is my 1500 subscriber special. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, do HGRIs in Node video. Uh, now, first, thank you guys so, so much for 1500 subscribers. We are so, so close to uh, making it to uh, 2000 subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. So, I'm going to start by just adding a 3D model. Okay, so uh, I'm adding a 3D model of uh, clockwork. And you know, just positioning, scaling and all. This model is from my 3D model pack, which you can uh, get it in the description. Uh, uh, you want to put the model on 3D camera, just press, uh, and if you, you just press on this plus, 3D, and then you can import the model from here, and just click on the 3D camera from here. You're going to open it up by clicking on it, and then drag the custom model into the 3D camera. Then ta uh, just click on it, to, uh, tap on it to, to close it. Then, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate, duplicate the model. Now, something that will probably help uh, with it looking more realistic when you're adding the HDRI is to change this lighting texture to Material 3 because you want to like have soft lighting because most of your lighting should be coming from the HDRI. So having soft lighting basically kind of removes the lighting, the lighting but not too much that it looks bad, you know? So you're going to click on the three dashes. Do, click on duplicate and wait for it to load this is going to duplicate your mod and now what you're going to do is you want to import the actual HGRI now you can get the HGRIs from this website called Polyhaven now this website called Polyhaven, you can get a whole bunch of stuff like models and textures, but you can browse HGRIs and you can get HGRIs. This is where I get my HGRIs from. You can even search stuff, but just pick like an HGRI that you think looks good. Or if you're putting putting the 3D model in a in like a, a in a video, pick a 3D pick like a, an HGRI that has like a similar lighting to the actual like video and stuff. So uh, I already have uh, an HGRI downloaded, but I'm just gonna show you there's an important thing. When you click on the uh, HGRI, don't download it from here. There's gonna download at that HGRI file. We want like a 360 panorama. So click on hold on this preview image and then click download image. This is going to download it. So let's get back uh, to Node Video. I've already downloaded an HGRI, uh, and you can import uh, them by just like going to the plus on the 3D camera. You want this plus, the plus on the 3D camera, and add media and image. And there we go. So uh, some uh, there's uh, there's my HDRI. Looks like this now. Uh, your HDRI uh, is probably not gonna fit your like uh, scene and like uh, the screen. You wanna like stretch it so that it fits the whole screen. So like if your screen looks like this, right? You wanna stretch it. Uh, to the edges just so it's like it fills the entire screen because this is very important uh, So what you're gonna do is you are you're gonna add 
from the you're gonna click on this plus open up the uh, image click on this plus right and then click on asset store in asset store you're gonna click on the blur blur from uh, up there and then you're gonna click on Gaussian Gaussian blur Gaussian blur I don't know how to pronounce it but uh just this blur and uh now from here just uh, this the amount of blur you add is basically like how how rough and how matte your 3d model is so like if you increase the blur it's gonna make it less shiny and more matte you know but if you decrease the blur all the way that's like glass or like something really uh really shiny so i'm gonna make it uh since this is clockwork i'm gonna say like maybe like zero but i'm gonna make two versions just to show you guys what it looks like so uh there's the not shiny version and uh usually if you want something that's just like normal and like isn't shiny and just looks pretty normal usually you should go for 40 anything above 40 is usually just the same like uh if you make it more than 40 it's gonna look the exact same as uh, 40 so you want to delete the original that has this and uh when you're making them and you like add uh, and stuff you can't just leave it like this what uh, you have to click on the three dashes other on this uh, image thingy you want to say other and then you're going to say capture and add as a layer. That's what I uh, did for the both of those. Because you don't want it to have any effects. You want the effects to be baked into it. So you're going to, I'm going to delete this. By clicking three dashes and then the delete. And uh, I'm just going to put this, shi this uh, like, matte version in the background. I'm going to turn it off by clicking the eye version. The eye. Now you want to also turn off this one because you don't want to see it. Um, and now some models might be like completely white, uh, like this. You know, they might be like uh, completely white. But if they're not completely white, you want to make them white because they have to be like no textures, just white. So you're gonna click again on this plus, and then fill, and then solid color. I'm gonna click solid color. I'm going to put it behind, just drag it behind. You want to put everything behind uh, the model. Then you're going to turn it off, clicking the eye, because you don't want to see it. Then, uh, you're going to open up the model, open up the custom model. And in the material, you're going to uh, click this model texture and change it to solid color, just the white that you added. So now it's all white. And now, in the type, Right here, the type, you're going to change it. You're going to click on that cap and you're going to change it to uh, reflect from panorama. Now, there's also some like presets in reflect uh, from environment. This is basically the same thing, but just some presets. But the thing about this, which makes it kind of uh, bad, is that you can't really change like how rough and matte it is. So that's why it's better to do reflect from panorama instead. Because then you can also choose the HDRI. So in the panorama texture, we're going to click on none. You're going to change it to the image you want. So uh, this is the matte version. And you want to make sure that the HDRI has a completely, like if you have an image in your actual like uh, uh, project, make sure that none of the image none of the images actually have the same name as uh, your hdri so if you see that two images have the same name and one of those two images is your hdri change the name of your hdri by clicking on it and then clicking this uh, pen uh, next to its name and then you can change its name from here but uh, none of the images uh, uh, have the same name so i'm gonna click this one because this is the shiny version this is the one without any blur and uh if you want to change like what it looks like what like the light is you can change it from these uh, numbers you can just like slide up and down while like clicking on one of them do that 
uh, until it just looks pretty good. Yep. All right, that's good. There we go. And uh, now there's two versions that you can do this. If you have Node Video Pro, you can just click this plus. You can just open up the camera, click this plus, and click on CC, and then click on basic color correction. And then you can just click this tone, and then go to the blacks, blacks here, and just turn them all the way down, and then add a screen. From a blending, you can go into the plus effect, and then blending is here. And you're going to change that, click on normal, change that to screen. And, uh, you know, maybe it'll, like, go to the actual model. And this reflection, it's basically, like, how bright your, uh, you want your light to be. So I'm going to, like, decrease that a bit. Uh, but not you don't you're gonna click on the basic color correction go back to tone and go back to blacks You don't want to make this like completely black. You want it to be like a little bit a little more You know uh, Bring this up, but you don't want it to be zero. It has to be in the negatives or else it's gonna look bad and uh, You can also just decrease the actual like screen opacity from here from the blending uh, but it's better to do it from here. So, yep. There we go. And maybe just make that a little bit brighter. I'll change it a little. And, yep. There we go. And, uh, if you're curious, this is what it would look like if I use the reflective, uh, from environment. Like this, like they're usually pretty good if you just want something that's just completely reflective, not matte or anything. They usually uh, do a good job with that. But if you want it to be like uh, a bit rough, then you should uh, do reflect from panorama. And you can also choose your HDRI from the presets, from the reflective from panorama uh, from environment. They've got some presets, but uh, it's not a lot, you know. But with reflected from panorama, there's a whole library on uh, Polyhaven that you can uh, get. So, yep. And uh, let's say I'm going to change it from the normal image, the super shiny version, to the uh, image 2. This one this is a more matte version. And uh, maybe like change this a little bit. Like, like this. Maybe even change the opacity a little. And bring this a little bit more. Just, just change some uh, some stuff in the settings until it looks good. One hundred percent. Just change some stuff until uh, you think it looks good. And um, there's also uh, now I told you that this basic color correction you can only do it if you're uh, using the actual like. Uh, Pro version of Node Video because you can't export this unless you have the Pro version of Node Video. So something else you can do is uh, is just add is just add this basic color correction. Just click on the three dashes on it. Click copy, then click on the three dashes again, then click delete, and just add it to the actual like HR. So I'm gonna. Click this just so you can see it. And then uh, just click on the transform or, and then three dashes and then paste the effect uh, basic color correction. Uh, there we go. And then do the same thing through uh, click on the three dashes here. Click on uh, other. And then uh, capture and add uh, as a layer. There we go. And then click on the original three dashes again, then delete. There you go. So now I'll just add this as the HRI. Turn it off by clicking the I. Add this is the HRI. And it looks pretty much the same. So yeah. And you can also do this for the like uh the like super reflective version. You can do the same thing. And uh yeah, that's it.
So again, thank you guys so, so much for 1,500 subscribers. And uh, we're so close to 2,000. Thank you guys so much. And uh, thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.